What's up, everybody? This is um Nathan Dacey here. My new YouTube channel is gonna be called Get the Net Fishing. Um, I, this video is gonna be about organizing soft plastic fishing lures. I know there's a trillion videos out there on how to do this. This is the most efficient way for me. Um, this is the all-around way that works the best for me. And here's the video right here. Okay, as you can see, I have a box here. It's called Labeled Cross. Okay. And I get these bands that are a dollar at the Dollar Tree, okay? And this, I think this video, I think this this method works really good. Uh, you guys may think there's another method that works good. And y'all, if you think another method's good, please comment it. Because I'd be more than willing to try it. I'm open to any ideas. Um, So here it is. These lids, they don't stay on really good, but they're a dollar. I guess you get what you pay for. Um, I take just rubber bands and I just rubber banded around it. So, see, this box here is crawls. They're really good for stacking. And in there, I have my power bait trigger crawls and every other crawl I ever made, really. <laughs> um, I have my zoom crawls, my watermelon seed, watermelon seeds, like right there. Um, and I'll have them facing towards me. So, if I need a green pumpkin pack of crawl, right there. If I need a black and blue trigger crawl, right there. If I need, um, this one's not labeled. If I need a watermelon seed speed crawl by Zoom, it's right here. Watermelon pearl, you know, I got pretty much a lot of different colors. And it works really good. I have a lot of different soft plastics. And as you can see right here. I have every uh, every type of soft plastics organized in these boxes. Um, I fish, but you know, I fish a lot of co-angler really. And when I fish or whatever, I have to limit this down. Like I said, I can't take all this in somebody's boat. So, um, I usually, normally, I have enough either in my bag, okay, I'll have the soft plastics I like. And then I'll take a Ziploc bag, the gallon size ones, and I'll put them in there. Just the ones I need, and that's how I still take care of the ones with me I need. But when I'm home and fishing in boats, this is what the way I like to do it, and it works the best with me. I've tried these bags. The problem with the uh, Falcon, which was bought out by Plano Bags, is that the soft plastics don't really stay straight in there, and I can't get as many as I could in this. I tried these boxes right here. Um, I. I had so many soft plastics, I couldn't get all the colors necessarily I wanted. I could only store, I can only store eight soft plastics in this end. So I got to the point where I was carrying two of them, one for dirty water and one for clear water, and it still didn't work out. There's so many boxes, they'd be stacked to the ceiling, so many of them. Um, that's the way I like to store them. Um, you guys can tell me what you think and what you guys think about it. And please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.